welcome back my friends, husband and wife, Hollywood Dream Team, Mark Burnett and Roma Downey. Hey, um, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Steve. Mark, what's up, man? How you doing? Mark, you got a beard since the last uh -huh. time you were here, man. It would look good on you, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty good. This Roma, is my, what do you, my own you like it? Fifty Shades of Grey right here. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, 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 we just, we just made a Bible a... miniseries. <laughs> <laughs> This is sounding better by the minute. I'm telling you, man. I'm glad I came here. <laughs> hey, 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 now your last series, The Bible, boy, it, it, it had a hundred million viewers, man. That's a, that's a huge number. Why, why, why do you think it resonated with so many people? I think that people are hungry for hope, aren't they? Hungry for connection to God and and you know, and we because of our teens, we knew that we had to make the story cool and um but it's the greatest story it's our story it's the story of our faith it's the story you know that our country was built on mm -hmm. right these are the values these are the people mm -hmm. yeah. i saw what you did with the first did you take a different approach to this series here we didn't want to fix what's not broke so it wasn't broke but we've certainly ramped it up because here's a time where those 12 apostles after Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection were about to be killed every day. This was a brutal time with the Roman occupation, the temple authorities. So this is kind of also political maneuvering. It's kind of like House of Cards meets Game of Thrones meets the Bible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It really is. It's hey, you know what made the other series so, so successful, I thought? It was, it was culturally diverse. Yes. Everybody could look at it and feel a part of it. I think that was a great way to go Steve, about it. This time even more so, this year, John the Beloved, an African actor. Mary Magdalene, an African actor. James and Philip, African actors. Jesus, Hispanic. This cast looks like America. It looks like all of us, and that's the way it should be. Yeah. Now, Roma. I understand that something happened during the taping that you thought was a sign. What was that? Yes, well, I think if you have eyes to hear, eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to feel, there are signs everywhere. And when we were filming AD, there was a, a long, hard day on the set and uh, the bluest sky you'd ever seen. And suddenly one of our actors pointed heavenward and there on a perfectly blue sky was one cloud in the perfect shape of a cross. Mm. And um, there, is, oh. there it is. It was just amazing. Wow. And it just felt like it was a sign of encouragement, a little blessing for everybody after a long, hard day. And the entire the crew stopped work, took out their iPhones, and everybody was just amazed and knew that's the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I just saw that. I jumped right on plane. I went straight to Vegas. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I, I think, I want to say this before you go. I think that the two of you are an inspiration to a lot of people. It's hard to see a Hollywood couple be married. But you all have been out there and you stuck together and you've made faith such a big part of your life that, that you make it look good. You, you, you're still touching each other. You still look great together. You still got your, got your groove on. You're out here talking about Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> else can come on the show talk about Fifty Shades of Grey and do a miniseries on the Bible. It's just a, it's a wonderful conversation. I want to say thanks to Mark and Roma. Folks, AD The Bible continues. It premieres Easter Sunday, April 5th on NBC 9, 8 Central.